Hey guys, sorry about the angle, but there's no good place to put my um, camera in my car and I'm driving, so <laughs> um, you have to be down there for now. But I just wanted to check in. Hello, welcome to my Newfoundland vlog. I'm not sure how this is gonna go because I'm home for a wedding. I actually have two friends getting married on the same day at the same time from two kind of slightly separate friend groups. And then um, Nems' parents are here from Serbia to check out Newfoundland because, as you know, he's from Serbia, but uh, he moved to Canada in 2013 to go to university to get his master's, and then uh, he met my best friend, and then we met through her. So, um, and then we moved to Toronto together in 2016. So his parents have never been here, so we extended our trip so that they could see Newfoundland, but it's a little bit tricky because I'm either like around his parents or with like all of my friends and I, it's hard to like kind of find the time to vlog. So yesterday uh, we arrived, we took his parents out for fish and chips, which is like a very common um, kind of traditional Newfoundland food. Then uh, we had the wedding rehearsal and wedding kind of dinner. We went out for a few drinks and then this morning I met up with Beth who's my friend who's getting married and she tried on her dress and my other friend, my oldest friend, Robin, is making her dress so it's super special. And now I'm going to meet up with Nems and his parents were going to Cape Spear which is the most easterly point in all of North America. And then I'm meeting up with my friend Katie and we were actually planning a bachelorette party for Beth tonight and Beth is not the type to like a bachelorette. She literally said like two weeks ago, bachelorette parties are dumb, <laughs> I don't care. She's getting a bachelorette party, I'm the maid of honor and I picked out like all this stuff that's like so cliche and stuff that like, she's like that she would hate kind of thing but in a funny like ironic way and I just got all these silly 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 things so um, that's kind of the plan for tonight can't tell if you can see me um, because the way my camera is now set up I can't have the flip screen up but we just did a bunch of adventuring at Fort Amherst in Cape Spear I'm now at Tim Hortons which is a Canadian classic I haven't eaten yet and it's 3 11 p.m. I had a nectarine as I mentioned in my last vlog I've been doing kind of like intermittent fasting um, just basically skipping breakfast but hold on getting my old favorite sandwich Hi, could I get a ham and Swiss sandwich on whole wheat? Ham and Swiss? Oh, sure, yep. Yeah. No, could I just get a bottle of water? Ah, uh, no, that's it, thanks. Thanks. So, I used to get the ham and Swiss sandwich all the time, but now it's ham and cheddar. But anyways, um, I definitely don't ever try to wait till 3 p.m. to eat. I feel like I'm wasting away here, but uh, I had a nectarine this morning before the fitting because I just know I'm going to be eating so much here. Like yesterday, I had a huge fish and chips, and then I went out to dinner and had like duck breast. Like, I don't normally indulge this much, but because there's so many events from vacation, we're taking his parents out and stuff, there's a lot of food happening. So, um, I need something now, and then tonight we're getting a whole bunch of food, obviously, for the bachelorette party. So I'm going to meet up with my friend Katie now. She was in my Houston vlogs years ago, if you remember those. And uh, we're going to pick up some things for the party. I can't wait to eat my sandwich. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to meet up with Katie now, and then I'll probably show you when we're setting up the party later today. I mean, I don't use it much, but... <laughs> okay, so I'm obsessed with what people have in their makeup bags. So this is Katie's makeup bag, if you were curious. So I had recommended to her the... Carly Bible palette and she has did you get this in like a ipsy bag or yeah, boxy charm or something like that yeah. I got her on the shape tape did I give you this too the wet and wild yep that so then where's it where's it so she has this and I'm like dude that's not makeup anymore that's just the what was it a bronzer yes. <laughs> this is just the pan I think it's makeup <laughs> 
that's like ceramic that they baked it onto and she's been carrying this around using this as her bronzer. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not a makeup girl, I'm, I'm a makeup I'm Jane YT. I'm ashamed to call you my friend. A lot of hours. When did I leave the house? Oh man, I put this makeup on at like eight o'clock this morning and it's now six and I'm gonna wear it out tonight. It's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation that I reviewed. I'll link that down below. But it held up well. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> this is why I can't vlog around other people. Because everyone just gets super uncomfortable. They're like, why are you so comfortable talking <laughs> to me? Like no <laughs> You're red in the face. I'm not even making you do anything. <laughs> anyway, <I'm> so <laughs> we, uh, we were just shopping all afternoon. And now we're going to go back to our friend's house to decorate. And then um, Beth is coming. So um, I'll show you all the decorations. Some of them are really naughty. And I probably won't show them to you. Because they're just heinous. But it'll be good. Hi, Lucy. This is Lucy. And did Bub show your tooth? Bob, show your tooth. He's got a funny tooth. Show your oh, see, he has one thing. Look at that thing. Wow, I'm so glad we got to stay. You're so cute. driving to pick up my car, well, my grandmother's car, because yesterday I was out for like, I don't know, from 11 till 11 a.m. till about 3 a.m. Oh my god, police. Okay. Oh my god. This yeah, they're measuring speeds. Is this Serbia? I can't believe it. Oh. Because in Serbia they would People hide speak. all the time. I never see them in Newfoundland. Okay. Yeah, they, they do it here all the time, especially on this road. Really? This is people speed. I just saw my father yesterday. They would never really hide and, and uh, Oh, well, I mean, not hiding. He's, she's in complete plain sight. She's sick. pretty high, anyway. She's not hiding. She's parked on the side of the road. Well, where else are they going to park? They're not going to park in the middle of the road with a, a speedometer yeah. gun or whatever it is. But it's unusual. Anyways. It's not unusual. What were you saying? <laughs> people speed here, too. Um, but we had bachelorette party last night. That was lots of fun, but my camera died. And I didn't really want to film a bunch of it anyways, because, I don't know. And uh, yeah, so now we're getting ready to head out for the day. We're going to Memorial University, which is where we, he got his master's there. I got my, my bachelor's degree there um, to show his parents it. And then I think we're gonna go to the mall and yeah. maybe like the Southern shore of the province. Yeah. Um, and check out a little bit of stuff there. That's kind of the plan for the day. How's it feel being back in Newfoundland? Nems hasn't been back since we left in 2016. Oh, it feels awesome. Like, it's, it's good to be uh, back? Yeah. It's been how much? Like three years now? Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's changed. It's There's scary. a lot of change here. Yeah. A lot of new new buildings and stuff. And then there also is so much construction everywhere and every road has become a one way for some reason. Yeah. When I was driving around yesterday, I was so freaking annoyed. Yeah, and people like drive so slow here <laughs> in Newfoundland, so you have to adapt. People, ah, uh, yeah. Drive. I didn't think they did, but now that I've left and come back, I kind of noticed that yeah. it's not even necessarily that people drive slow, but people don't drive like at all aggressively. Yeah. They're like so nice when they drive. Very, very passive, passive drivers. Yeah. Which, which is, is which, is, which is how I am. Which is how I should be. <laughs> I've yeah. Just, like, I never awesome. ever like beat my horn. I never like do aggressive passing yeah. or anything. Yeah. That's exactly how I drive. That's why I don't drive in Toronto because like every switching lanes every like two seconds and I'm like I just want to be in my lane just, just yeah. enjoy my drive. Thing. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. And 
Oh, and I just want to say that I wore that Makeup Forever foundation yesterday for a million hours and it looked so good. And I'm wearing it again today and I love it and I'm obsessed with it. And it's such a good foundation if you haven't tried it. Anything else you use it too? Oh yeah, I need to Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Can't have you being any more pretty than you are. Yeah, that's that's true. Like it's stolen. Yeah. at us. You just saved my life. Oh. <laughs> Almost got pooped on for the first time ever by a bunch of seagulls. Let me know if you've ever been pooped on. Actually, it's good luck. Yeah, it's good. Well, try it. Try it I'd say that's what people say to make you feel better. I do better. it all the time, Sam. Look at me. I'm a lucky man. You get pooped on all the time? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> that can be your thing. I'll, I'll find something else. Luckwise, here in Brigus, super beautiful here. Hey guys, good morning. Today is the big day. It is my friend Beth's wedding. So we are up bright and early. I'm gonna be heading to, um, they've rented like an Airbnb so that we can all get ready at. And I have like four bags of makeup and my dress and I brought a, like a lit mirror so that I can do my makeup. And I think I'm gonna film like get ready with me there. If I have the ability, we're actually just turning around because I forgot my second camera battery. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to vlog because I'm in the wedding party and I've got to practice my speech. I'm maid of honor, but that's kind of the plan for today. So I'm going to show you clips and stuff, but uh, I basically have left my house every day at 9 a.m. and come back at 11 a.m. So it's or 11 p.m. So it's been a very, very busy trip, but um, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing for today. <music> Good morning, coming to you with a very rough 
daily morning check-in. It is the day after the wedding and I'm feeling it. We were out till about 3 a.m. last night and we left the house at about 9.30. Um, so I went and got ready with everybody and then we did the ceremony and then we went uh, like on a party bus and took a bunch of photos and then we went back to like for the reception. I did my speech, I think it went pretty good. And um, then we literally danced all freaking night from about 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So very, very tired, but um, I'm just here to pick up my friend Katie now. She's flying back to Sweden in a couple hours, so I obviously need to spend some quality time with her. And I brought her a bunch of makeup that I've yet to hand off. So we're gonna go get breakfast somewhere. I need bacon, I need hollandaise sauce, even though I had McNuggets not long ago. But I think I danced for like seven hours straight, so I had to burn a few calories there. Um, but yeah, the wedding was incredible. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna put in my vlog, but I also kind of filmed all day for so that like they could both have all kinds of video of the day because they have like professional photographers, but I thought it'd be cool to have like actual videos of things too. So I got a video of like their first look and a video of us taking photos and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to take a look through all of that and everything was just beautiful and both of their dresses were incredible. They looked so good and I cried so much. I didn't cry during the ceremony, but it was just like a steady stream of tears during the ceremony and then cried again a couple times, but it was just so beautiful. Hello, it is now the evening. The lighting is really bad. It's really bad. Why is that? That's because it's so dark. We're in a hybrid. The car's moving right now. It's dead silent. Yeah. Um, but met up with Nemzi. We didn't see each other all day today because I was out with my friend who, like I said earlier, was flying back to Sweden. Then I had two friends going to Halifax. So I saw them and then I came home and napped. And then I just was horizontal basically all day. <clears throat> So we didn't get back till late. But now we're going to pick up Chinese from our favorite Chinese food place. Um, we have one in Toronto that we like, but there's this one dish that they make here at this place and it's called um, General Chicken Szechuan Style. So I've looked up other restaurants before and they make Szechuan chicken, but it's not the same. Like, oh my God, it's so dark. Yeah. This is like a deep fried chicken. It's just like, we call it red chicken. Yeah. It's like a bright red, God knows what makes it so red. <laughs> and sugary Just and sweet red. and spicy. And it's so freaking good. So, um, and we haven't really spent like much time together alone with the exception of like, we go to bed and that's it. Like, <clears throat> so we're gonna hang out, we're gonna watch a movie. Yeah. Or maybe watch uh, Ozark. It's time to come with it too. Oh yeah, Ozark. We can watch that. Ozark just okay, came back let's on. Watch Ozark we then. can watch Ozark. Nice. Instead of like, we're really, uh, <clears throat> when you, you know what I mean? When you like get food and then you're trying to find a movie for like 25 minutes. So yeah, let's watch Ozark. Yeah. That's the problem with Netflix too, is like it feels like we haven't watched that in so long. I don't even remember what happened. Hopefully they will do some kind I of recap yeah, can... of the previous season or something yeah. like that so you can remember yeah. what actually happened. Yeah. Sure. The Nems went on a boat tour today and saw some puffins and whales, which yeah, I'm super jealous awesome. about. Yeah. I was in no condition to boat. <clears throat> and then they had a dog on the boat for whale sniffing. I know. A whale sniffing dog. I don't know if it's true or they're just. <laughs> they're just like, I don't know. With you. <laughs> like, yeah, tell the tourists it sniffs out whales. Yeah. Those tourists will believe anything. Yeah. So that's fun. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to chill. And uh, that's all my news. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah. Come get it. Yes. Now, yeah. Take a bigger jump. You, no, 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 wait, wait. Run, run, and then like jump. You have to take it. Yeah, run it. My feet are wet. <laughs>
I don't know when the last time I checked in or spoke to you. I've just been like filming nature for the past 12 days. If you remember this spot, the bed is different now. But I used to sit here to film my videos. My room, The room was gray. Times have changed now that I've moved out. But I've been going through this box of old stuff. Uh, and it's just... It's just crazy. I was going through um, all these journals and photos last night from when I was like a kid. I'll show you here on my phone, but this is me as a under one year old, I guess. Look at that sweet little face. This is my hippie days. Baby. Small child. This one. Look at this. God bless the fact that my eyebrows grew back. Oh my god. And all that forehead acne so it started on my forehead and then moved its way all over my face for the rest of my life <laughs> this is grade 11 and i look more like myself there i loved that shirt i thought it was so good cut to more recently in university i did business commerce it was a five-year program with internships and we had like a kind of an award ceremony at the end i won two awards golden beer bottles memorial commerce class of 2013 rare of the year aka biggest butt i also won best wiggle in high school so that's my legacy having a big butt and then uh, most likely to be on tv people told me that they thought i could win big brother which i thought was very interesting uh, i think i would cry too much but i mean this is close to tv some of you might be watching me on your tv then i just have piles and piles of notes from when i was like a kid in the high school um my goosebumps diary do you remember goosebumps this one so i won't say the name but i have it says blank blank which is his name is cute nice funny laughable and a really fast runner that's how i would describe him <laughs> it says blank is so cute today blank told blank that i had a crush on him and he told blank i now hate blank and blank i told madame mackey my teacher and she was pretty mad at blank and blank now he knows i have a crush on him and i am very well i don't really know if i am mad or not but boy is he cute ha 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 oops i'm not even pointing it at me so yeah that there's some of that in here a lot of like notes and boys and stuff it's crazy like old report cards in there this is from when i worked at le chateau that job when i got that job i was like i've made it this is it i always wanted to work at le chateau got a t-shirt here from when i ran for president of my high school it was LLS, it was Lauren, Laura, and Sam. We did not win. <laughs> I made it on a student council, but then in university, I was vice president of my class. So I redeemed myself. But yeah, it's just been crazy going through all of this uh, stuff. And something we used to do all the time was write each other plain letters. Did you and your friends ever do this if you're like my age? Basically, if you were going anywhere, all of your friends would write you huge letters, like five, six pages of stuff for you to read on the plane. Anyways, we're pretty much done the trip. We leave tomorrow and I can't wait to go home and see Rue. <laughs> I miss her so much. Um, but yeah, I don't know what kind of vlog this has even been, but I guess I'll probably see you tomorrow on the plane. Um, and then I'll show you Rue when I get home because she's going to be a nightmare for the next few days. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Yeah, how's it going? We miss you so much. We talk about you every day. How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? We missed you.